another video, another time for me to sit on the floor. So today, let's talk makeup. Um, I personally love makeup. I love trying new makeup. I am like never satisfied with my makeup routine. I always am looking for what's new, what everyone's loving. But like, why is it so expensive? I am here today to show you all my five favorite drugstore products. Um, they're kind of random. There's no like rhyme or reason, but here you go. And just so you know, all of these I use almost every day. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with a lip color because I wanna put it on for y'all and I feel so naked without anything on my lips right now. It's probably my favorite lip color of all time. And I mean, I've tried the Kylie Lip Kits, I've tried the Kat Von D lip stains and whatnot, and I love a matte lip, I love, I love those products as well, but I don't think it compares to this right here. This is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the color Sultry, which is number 225. So it just looks like this. It's like a crayon form. You know, you open it up and it's big and whatnot. But this color is so great. So first I'll swatch it on my hand. You can see the color. This is a little bit darker mauve color. So there it is right there. I have it on. That camera will focus. Alright, so now you can see, I have this color on right now, the lighting is kind of bright for my window, but um, but it's really pretty, um, it's kind of a darker color, but very wearable on all skin tones, and it looks great with everything. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a matte lip balm, so it's not as drying as like some liquid lipsticks that you might find. It has kind of a minty feeling to it, so it's not doesn't like taste gross or smell horrible, it's just like kind of minty. Um, but yeah, I love this. By Revlon, you can get it like everywhere. Um, I get questioned about this all the time. I've had this for over a year, like it lasts forever. You can twist it from the bottom. It's like a big thing. It's great. Try it out. Moving on, my next product is a blush. So these are the Milani Bates blushes, as you can see like that. This one is in the color Luminoso. Um, I love these. I've also used another one of theirs, Coralista, and I really like that one as well. That one's a little bit darker. This one, you can see, is just so beautiful. And it's kind of like, has a nice shimmer to it. It's definitely not glittery or anything like that. So yeah, you can see right there, it has like a nice little sheen to it. So when you put it on, um, it kind of gives you just like a nice little glow. It's a great color. Um, I think this is probably their most popular shade of these blushes, but I just love all these blushes. Um, very affordable. Check it out. I also am wearing it today, if you can tell. Don't you got that little, that little shine right there? Yeah. Blush. Check it out. Personally, I don't like translucent setting powders. I just find that most of the ones that I've tried kind of always wash me out um, and so I want one I want a powder that has a little bit of color to it that's not going to add a lot of cover because I don't want it to look like cakey and powdery I just want it to set everything but match my skin tone pretty well if that makes sense and I don't I want it to mattify me a little bit like get rid of the shine from my foundation but not mattify me that I look not like a real person. So let's just get on with it. This is the NYX Mineral Set It Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder. So it just looks like that. I got it at CVS. This is in the color medium dark. So I know that they have a translucent one, a light one, so it must be like light medium, and then they have this one which is medium dark. So they only have like two color shades and one translucent one, which sucks. I wish they would come out with more colors, but I love this. So, as you can see, it's just like a loose powder, which can be a little messy, but um, this one is pretty, it's a pretty big size. I feel like you get a lot of powder for your money's worth. Um, I just use this after I put on my foundation. Um, I put this all over my face to set my makeup, and it also gets rid of that like 
shine that you automatically get from putting liquid all over your face basically. Um, I love this. I put it on. It doesn't make me look cakey. It like mattifies me but not too much. It still allows like a little bit of just your natural skin finish to come through if that makes sense. Um, it's cheap. It's affordable. It doesn't do anything like amazing. It doesn't like make me look flawless or anything like that but it's keeps me looking natural which I love and it also gives me a little bit of coverage because it is it does have color to it. I also like to put it up under my neck a lot. It helps match my neck to my face very easily. So next is a mascara. And if you haven't heard about this mascara, you've been living under a rock. So this is the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Um, so yeah, it just looks like this. Mine is all dirty because I use it all the time. So I don't know what it is about this mascara, but it's so good. I have very very short thin eyelashes but this is the best drugstore if not mascara ever um, you can see the brush is just like nice and big but like skinnier at the point which I really like to get into the corners um, yeah this just gives me a lot of volume um, gives me a little bit of length but if you want to use a lengthening mascara with it that would probably be probably be best as well my favorite mascara I always have this on hand because I I often use the often use the like unique um, mascara that has like the fiber lashes and all that, but you need a mascara on under it as well. And so I always grab this one because it's cheap, affordable, and it works great on its own as well. But try it out. So for my last product, I was stuck between two different things. Um, because this next product I'm going to show you I absolutely love, but I don't use it every day. And I don't feel like many people would use it every day, so I didn't know whether to show it to you or not. But I'm going to anyway. So this is the Hard Candy Walk the Line Liquid Eyeliner. And it's a glitter eyeliner. <laughs> so Hard Candy I know is sold in Walmart. I feel like it's only sold in Walmart, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. Um, so this is a liquid eyeliner, so you can see it comes out just like a normal, has a brush just like any other liquid eyeliner, um, but it's all glitter. So this is the gold one, I also have the silver one, and I think they have more colors as well. Um, I'm just going to put it on my hand. So obviously I don't wear this every day, but for like night when I'm like going out or special event, I love this. So you can see it right there. So what I like to do is I will normally just put it in my inner corner. So I'll put it like up under under my eye in my inner corner. Um, my inner corner right here. And then I will just kind of like dab it on my regular eyeliner. Um, and it really just gives your eyes. It doesn't look like you have like tons of glitter on your eyes or anything like that. It just kind of gives your eyes a little bit of sparkle. And it looks great in pictures. When you're putting it like on your eyeliner across your eye, so I put on regular eyeliner first and then I go in with this, don't like sweep it across because it might take off some of your eyeliner because it is liquid obviously. Um, it's like a liquid with glitter pigments in it. Um, I just dab it. So I take it and I just kind of like press it up against and then go and just press it all the way down. And then that way you just get like little glitter particles throughout and it's not like a shimmer eyeliner or anything like that this is like legit glitter and it's great but it's very very fine glitter like don't be afraid to get that you're going to get it in your eye i find that it doesn't like run once you put it on or anything like that it's awesome i love it try it out but I am always looking for great drugstore products. And the one problem with the drugstore is you normally can't test out the products before you buy them. So I always am like looking for reviews and like recommendations and things. So that was my recommendation. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you all try out some of these products. If you do, let me know. I'd love to hear what you think. Or if you have any other products that you recommend for me, I would love to know. Just hit me up.